So let me ask you. Um, the beingness that you're experiencing right now. Okay. The beingness that you experienced 10 years ago and the beingness that you're experiencing now, is it any different? No, it's the same. It's the same. It was <laughs> always the same. Yeah, it's been yeah. always. From, yep, yeah, from the get go. Yeah. yeah. It never changes. Yeah. Now, let, now, let, now let's look at the, the sixth sense. Yeah. Um, what it does is it thinks. It's not you. It thinks. Yeah. And how does it do that? It does that uh, dualistically. Up, down, right, wrong, me, you, yeah. here, there. Yeah. Yeah. It invents. It invents time. <laughs> it invents it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's limited because that's all it can do. Now, here's the irony. Okay. Thoughts are saying this, and thoughts are saying that, and. And we listen to them, you know, like we give them credibility and, and so on, yeah? Tell me. Can a thought actually experience consciousness? No, I thought it's just a thought. It's, 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 it can experience anything. Why, then, then why the fuck are we listening to it? Yeah. What would it know? What would it, what would it know? It 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 does it it can't experience anything. Right. Yet yet it's imagined and convinced itself that it does. That it does. Yeah. And and it and it'll it'll verbalize it like this. I see. Yeah. I am seen. It'll it'll literally verbalize it like that. But a thought can't see. <laughs> right. And it always it always comes after the event, right? Yep. So by the time here's the funny thing is right. By the time the me catches up, the, that <laughs> moment, yeah, it's gone. By the time the me catches up, you know, with the with the the seeming moment, it's gone. Which is why it's said, uh, you know, as a as a, uh, a split, um, so-called independent person cannot live in the now. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not quick enough. <laughs> it's not quick enough. It's nowhere near quick enough. Yeah. And 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 besides that, um, the me which is thoughts can't experience the now. It can't experience presence. It can't experience awareness or seeing, hearing. It can't experience it. All it does is describes it. <laughs> yeah. It only describes. And the description is never the actual. It's always just a description. So what we do, <clears throat> which is, the, and this is the the, the the height of insanity, we bring the past into the present and call that me. Now, can is it even possible to bring the past into the present? <laughs> How do you oh. do that? How do you bring the past into the present? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. it, it's just it's just a thought. It's just a memory in the form of a thought, right? That happens. Yeah. Happens. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the the 
here's why the fear arose for you. Yeah, and I think you already know this, but um, the reason that the, that the the fear arises when it starts to dawn on us that hold on a minute, what I actually am is this beingness, is this 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 presence, awareness. Yeah, that will sometimes. It, 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 it will, uh, it kind of creates a, a sense of freedom and awe, yet at the same time, it can bring up fear. Yeah. Now, the reason that the fear comes up is because the thoughts or the sixth sense or the me yeah. has heard time and time and time again in non duality circles that the me's got to go. Now, how does the me interpret that? It okay. interprets it interprets that as, oh, if me goes, the presence goes, because I am that. Yeah. The me hijacks this sense of presence, yeah, and says, I am that. Or worse than that, it says that the presence is mine. Yeah. <laughs> and and all that all that is saying that is the thinking mind, is the sixth sense, that you have no control over, zero. So the idea of see if it's clearly seen that me is nothing but a pattern of thoughts, right? If that's seen, if that's really seen, then there's absolutely nothing that me can do. Right. Yeah. This this is this is kind of what Jim Newman and, and Tony Parsons are hinting at. There's nothing you can do. Why? Yeah. Because you're you're a nothing. Right. right. <laughs> you, you aren't even a thing. You you were never nothing actually. You were never yeah. nothing. Yeah. This this actually it, it was seen, but in a very very fraction of a second that yeah. that what what was always here was this sense of being, and this me was just a, just a story attached to it, but. Uh, because my difficulty all this time was to detach the me feeling by the sense of being, because it was always there, attached to it, and uh, and even if we, even if I would understand at least very in a logical way that thoughts, I, I have no control of the thoughts, and they can they can come, they can go out of I don't know where, nowhere, etc., and they can. It's it's just blah 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 wording and you know. You, but what what I was actually stuck was the, the this this me feeling being attached to the body, and then uh, and then probably the idea that if me is the body then the real me is something different and I have to look for it, right? Mm. But, but, but on the same time, I cannot be this real me because it would be a subject, right? It, it, was be, it would be an object and, and, right. and, and then I cannot identify it. So it was trying to go out from the body and, and attach to something different, right? To, to, to be the real, the real me or whatever. So. Yep. I, I don't know. I don't know if I make sense, but uh... you are. You are. And, and and all I would say to all of that that you just verbalized, yeah. Um, all of that is nothing but the mind. Yeah. Costa, it's not you. You are not that. You are not that. Whatever the mind is saying, you are not that. You know, even even when it feels like, um, 
you know, it's talking to you or you're talking or, or like the, 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 it, it creates the, the, the uh, idea um, of the personal person. Yeah. Yeah. It is all nothing but thoughts. And in the absence of thoughts, not that you can do this, but it can happen all by itself. Okay. Understand? Yep. In the absence of thoughts, there you are. There, there you really are. That that you've been looking for has, has never gone anywhere. Yeah. Never, ever, ever gone anywhere. It's like a case of misidentification. Yeah. We've, we've been identifying with one particular sensory organ. And that's the thought, that. It's the thinking mind. We've been identifying with that. Yeah. <laughs> why does it do that? Why does it do that? Why does the mind do that? Why does the, why does the mind create a seeming person? Why does it do that? That's what it does. Why does it do that? <laughs> yeah. Because, look... Man, and, and I think you know, yeah, 99.99999% of the people walking around on the planet believe that who they are is that, yeah. is the mind. Yeah. They believe that. Yeah. Yeah. But they don't even, but, but, but they don't even see that uh, as an objective thing. Yeah. They believe that this is pure subjectivity. This yes. is right. who I am, right? Right, right. Yeah. And it's just, and it's so close, they can't kind of see anything else, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So why, why does it do that? Why does it create, why does the mind create an artificial person? Why? I... I... Why does it do that? And, you know, if um, it's a trick question, actually, why? <laughs> why does it do that? It's a trick question. Yeah? Because that that animates the body, that that animates the seeing, that that animates the hearing, tasting, touchings, all of that also animates the mind. Why? Why does it do that? Why does it do that? Let's look at it like this. You understand that non-duality means one. One without a second. Right. There is no object. There's just absolute, pure subjectivity. Now, in that state of pure subjectiveness, yeah, could that subjectivity know itself? No, it's just... Uh... It, 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 no, it would never, yeah. So, that being the case, would there be any experience? No, it wouldn't be any experience. Right. <laughs> it wouldn't be any experience. Right. So what does it need to do to create an experience? Duality. Right. Right. Now, where does duality exist? Well. <laughs> There's only one spot. There's only one place that duality I'll say this seems to exist. Where, okay. where, 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 like, where's duality? Oh, well, it's in the, it's in the mind, it's in the thought. Only, right? only, yeah, yeah, only. Well, I, I, I don't experience that, but you know, it's a logical kind of assumption here, right? But I, yeah. I yeah. that's okay, that's okay. Um, so in truth outside of, or rather, in the absence of mind, 
yeah. non-duality. Non -duality. So what is it that creates? What is it that, that creates seeming? Because it's only seeming. It's not true. The, the truth is, there's no such thing as duality. Yeah. It's the sixth sense, or the thinking mind that creates it. Because it's so fucking creative, right? And it yeah. does that, or, or that yeah. that uh, singularity or pure subjectivity does that so as it can experience itself. Now, how magnificent is it? It gets to experience itself through 8 billion different people on the planet. <laughs> pretty, pretty fucking wild experience, right? All at the one time. Yeah. But it's also, it's, it's it, uh, <laughs> it's everything. It's everywhere. Yeah. Um, but see, I'm going to speak dualistically for a moment. All right. So, for you to awaken, yeah, first you've got to be asleep. Yeah. Correct. And you're not, and you're not responsible for that. Something else is responsible for that. Something else is responsible for the thinking. It's not you. Something else is responsible for that that animates the body, that beats the heart, yeah, that digests the food, that makes the blood flow around. Right, right. Sweat coming out of the pores, your hair growing, your fingernails growing, etc. Yeah. Something else. And so, that, so that 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 something else is not dualistic. Now, let me just do this with you, just for a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, well, well, let's do this. Though. In the absence of thought, and you may have to consider this logically. Yeah, you might feel it, which would be great. Yeah, but in the absence of thought altogether, where's duality then? Yeah, it, it's hard. It's hard. I understand. But it's hard for me. Like, I, I try to experience what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, and that's because it's the mind trying to experience. Right. And right. it can't. That's why you're saying it's hard. It's hard because the mind can't experience Exactly. That. It's the mind, the yeah. mind that tries to understand that. Yeah, it's the yeah. mind that tries to. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Um, I should, have said, I should have said this from the beginning. But anyway, I'll say it now. Um, <laughs> at no point in time, the whole time you and I have been conversing, at not one instant of this conversation, have I been speaking to Costa. Why would I waste my time? Costa's a pattern of thoughts. Right. And I'm not... I'm, I'm not speaking to that that you're not. I'm speaking to that that you are. Of course I am, because that that you are is what wakes up. Costa doesn't wake up. Costa disappears. <laughs> and in the absence of Costa, there you are. Here I am. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Pleasure. Pleasure. Um, you, you, you know, like... <sighs> Duality is a mind construct. It's not real. <laughs> it's not real. It's imagined. Completely. Imagined. 